I will show you how to securely attach a heavy radiator to a plasterboard wall, how to properly connect a radiator, and we will use an infrared camera to check if the radiator is properly adjusted. It's not that difficult as long as you know how. It's important to remember that a filled radiator can be twice as heavy, so it's crucial that the wall can support the weight of the heavy radiator. In this case, I have a single plasterboard which can be a problem for supporting the radiator. But don't worry, I will show you how to hang it using toggle plugs and elephants on the wall. Start by marking on the wall where the brackets should go, keeping in mind that the radiator should hang at least 10 centimeters from the floor for proper operation. Always wear personal protective equipment when drilling. Drill the hole with the correct diameter as indicated on the packaging. Then insert the toggle plug into the hole, making sure that the plug is flat and centered on the back of the plasterboard, and clamp it securely with the locking straps. If necessary, use the back of your wrench or similar tool to secure the plug. Now you can use a threaded rod, I have chosen this so that I can later tighten it with an M8 nut. But you can also use a bolt directly. Then attach the radiator bracket, tighten it carefully and make sure it is secure. Place the radiator 2 mm higher at the vent, but make sure it hangs vertically level. Use an adjustable underblock. Use Loctite 55 to wrap the thread and then screw the tailpiece into the radiator. Mark the holes where the pipes should go and deburr the pipes. Slide the pipe into the underblock and secure them with M22 inserts. Then use Loctite 55 to wrap the radiator bend. Make sure the hard measure matches the underblock. Place the valve and measure the size of the connection pipe. Cut the pipe and deburr it and then connect the pipe. Don't forget to use the compression ring and don't use a gasket. Place the radiator knob. Now you can bleed the radiator. Do you want to know which materials I use? I have left the link in the description. I hope you found this video helpful. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and if you are not a subscriber, subscribe to my channel to stay tuned. For now, thank you for watching and see you next time.